the fact that we don't have like value functions at all is like in the LLMs is like, it's crazy. It, I, I think I think because Ilya said it, I, I can say it. I know you know one 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 hundredth of what he does about AI, but like, it's kind of crazy that this is working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of the brain, um, well, so I think there are some parts of the brain that are thought to do something that's very much like model free RL. That's sort of parts of the basal ganglia. Um, sort of striatum and basal ganglia. They have like a, a certain finite, like it is thought that they have a certain like finite, relatively small action space. And the types of actions they could take, first of all, might be like tell the spinal cord to, or tell the brainstem and spinal cord to do this motor action, yes, no. Um, or it might be more complicated cognitive type actions, like tell the thalamus to allow this part of the cortex to talk to this other part or release the memory that's in the hippocampus and start a new one or something, right? There's, but there's some finite set of actions that kind of come out of the basal ganglia and that it's just a very simple RL. So there are probably parts of other brains in our brain that are just like doing very simple, naive type RL algorithms. Um, layer one thing on top of that is that some of the major work in neuroscience, like Peter Diane's work and a bunch, bunch of work that is part of why I think DeepMind did the temporal difference learning stuff in the first place um, is they were very interested in neuroscience. Um, and there's a lot of neuroscience evidence that the dopamine is giving this reward prediction error signal um, rather than just reward, yes, no, you know, right. a gazillion time steps in the future. It's a prediction error. Um, and that's consistent with like learning these value functions. Um, so there's that. And then there's maybe like higher order stuff. So we have these cortex making this world model well, one of the things the cortex world model can contain is a model of when you do and don't get rewards, right? Again, it's predicting what the steering subsystem will do. It could be predicting what the basal ganglia will do. And so you have a model in your cortex that has more generalization and more concepts and all this stuff that says, okay, these types of plans, these types of actions will lead in these types of circumstances to rewards. So I have a model of my reward. Um, some people also think that you can go the other way. And so this is part of the inference picture. There's this idea of RL as inference. Um, you could say, well, conditional on my having a high reward, sample a plan that I would have had to get there. That's inference of right. the plan part from the reward part. I'm clamping the reward as high and inferring yeah. the plan, sampling from plans that could lead to that. Um, and so if you have this very general cortical thing, it can just do, if you have this like general, very general model-based system and the model among other things includes plans and rewards, then you just get it for free, basically. So like yeah. in neural network parlance, there's a value head associated to the the, the omnidirectional inference that's happening. In yes, the, yeah, right, there's, or there's a value input, um, yeah. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, and, it, and it, it can predict, one of the, one of the, one of the almost sensory variables it can predict is, is what rewards is gonna get. If you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips. Thanks.